Gentlemen, let me ask you one simple question, simply put. Who brings guns to negotiate peace? The answer is the government side, ladies and gentlemen. The government side says in an unavoidable war, with a last resort, they will send in drones capable of firing missiles, capable of spying civilians and people, capable of firing things that can destroy a building and citizens that are not even militants. And the USA, the, person, the country who owns the drones, this, this system, agrees to build these drones and send these new troops so that when wars are unavoidable, they can send it to negotiate peace with guns, ladies and gentlemen. And what they are going to do, what they are trying to do, is they just kill their enemy. And instead of solving their problem, they are evading themselves from another problem. And this is what we see, that drones are not a positive development. Speaking in terms of war, since it is the very central of this debate today, more specifically unavoidable wars, we ask them what exactly do we mean by unavoidable war? They said, well, negotiation doesn't work. And then we said again, what makes negotiation doesn't work? And we said that because countries are paranoid, countries do not trust each other, especially they resent the nukes and drones that America has processed. In other words, it is the drone itself that causes the war to be unavoidable. That is why we do not believe in drones as the, the, the solution of unavoidable wars, ladies and gentlemen. Not only that, we have also proven to all of you that the stealth, the drones being stealth, is one of the main reasons why we resent drones. Because one, drones cannot be seen, so countries cannot protect themselves. That first violates Geneva law. Second, it causes mis mistrust and ill will for the country to make peace. Second, by drones being stealth, we have also proven to you that it is unidentifiable and therefore can cause more casualties, as the rescuing cannot cannot go in, inside and rescue operations so bravely. We also talked to you about how drones cannot end the war, and we have asked the government side, since the LO, that we want troops, for example, or at least a link, on how drones can help us avoid the war, solve the war, end the war easier, or at least minimize the casualty. In other words, the opposition side have even come up and talked about drones are the things that wage war. And not only it wages wars, Drones are also only capable of one, so so weighing, and two, um, firing missiles. But they are also ground operations that are still necessary, as the opposite has pointed out, that if drones are effective enough, why do we need troops? And since we have troops today, it means that drones are not effective. And since it's a, it is not effective, then therefore the government side should fail in this case of ending the war in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. The third thing we would like to talk about is how is it okay to sacrifice soldiers if that would not cause the loss of casualties in terms of citizens. Because simply put, soldiers are paid and are trained to fight in wars. And in this case, even though the government tries everything to protect it, there is still the truth that soldiers can be killed in fighting. But what we see as an upside is that the government should do to protect these soldiers is not waging war in the first place since Elmo have said that. And we say that the only way the government can avoid waging wars is that to not to use drones. And all the compounds of the bad sides of the drones, also the waging wars can be done more recklessly as the drones are played like video games because soldiers or militants who control the drones live part of the world away from war and therefore doesn't care for the casualties of himself or his life in general. So with all of these causes, we feel that the United States of America should not be allowed to bring guns to kill their enemies after they cannot negotiate peace. What they should try to do, you know, in, in our sense, is that they should not pursue that drones are not a positive development in any paradigm and therefore the upside should stand strongly. Thank you.